It has come to my attention that a pun that I have just made does not work. You have taught me that frogs do not actually have scales, so my pun that frog's magic stat being higher means that his healing scales doesn't work. I've never seen a frog up close. I just knew they were amphibians, so I just kind of assumed. Because punning is serious business, people can get hurt, and I take this craft very seriously. Higher magic really bumps up his healing. Thank you. Welcome back to more Chrono Trigger. Last time, we stood trial for the abduction of Princess Nadia. This time, at least they're nice enough to put orange soda in our stall. It's kind of weird how it's solid and then it turns clear when you pick it up. Well, here, a sympathizer from your trial brought that for you. Enjoy it while you can. Only two days remain now. Inside the package, three ethers. This is based on the number of jurors that find Chrono innocent. Four jurors will give you one ether as a gift. Five jurors gives two. Six in my case gives three. And a perfect not guilty verdict will give six. No matter what you do, even if it is perfect not guilty, the chancellor will still try to frame you in the warden's eyes. Here's a save point. And now... Pipe down, you. Pipe down, you. I'm a monkey. Oh, how many times do I have to tell you? If it won't quiet down, we'll all quiet him down. Open the door. Heh. <laughs> That's what you get for not doing what you're told. Oh, my gosh. I get to meet the Steel Runner? Uh... Hi. <laughs> Just bobbed him right in the- I thought you had to do it from the back. I thought he- I, That was my first time doing it from the front. Well, serves you right for not taking my weapon away. We got the guards to deal with here. And, uh, we have the guards dealt with here. That went down very easily. Man, and this is the guy who was winning the races of the Millennial Fair. Sheesh. We saw how the doors are open. This door doesn't quite open all the way. It doesn't want to work out for us. Can't do anything about that. This cup is bottomless, can be used as often as you like. Come back to it whenever you wish. Have to make sure they think I'm just hiding and that I'm still in there if somebody walks by. Covering my bases. Gonna walk down this way. And ooh, this is cool. I didn't want to I didn't want to gush about it in the moment because the court scene is very serious though, but uh everything here is just beautiful backgrounds. Be it the court scene, the view when you're going into the prison on the bridge. It's also wonderful looking. These royal guards, honestly, they are basic physical attackers. You cut them down like butter, they drop potions. They're good supplies for you. I am a little bummed that we didn't get the six ethers from a perfect jury. I know that I screwed up on the one that's hard to predict and kind of buggy, but I always try for it. It just feels good to rub it in the Chancellor's face. We've not seen a, a mid-potion before that- or, have we? It restores 200 HP. I guess maybe I didn't realize the first time I picked it up. I didn't realize picking up an ether the first time either because it's just so normal to be picking those up. And- oh! So you're the one who's gone and slipped his cell, eh? Gowler! A rare enemy! There's barely any of these in the entire game, and this is the only one in the prison towers. It is only hurt by physical attacks. Any kind of magic it is completely immune to, as I will demonstrate with Wind Slash. Oh, you missed me. Nice. Yep, zero damage. Some enemies are completely immune to magic. Sometimes just whacking it over the head is the best thing, even if he's wearing a full suit of armor and uh, a helmet. Oh, whoa! That looked very painful. <laughs> 22 experience, 55G, ether. See, it's not too bad that we didn't get the ethers. They don't pay me enough for this. <laughs> and he just walks off. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason why you're a rank above the rest and why you were given the better equipment. You're smart. You know when you've lost. And back over this way, behind the masks, they're actually just giant sea shield. These are sentries. Attack them when their shields are down. They can only attack you when their shields are down. So uh, yeah, you're both vulnerable when that's the case. Attacking them when it's up, one damage. <laughs> just 
chucking an old rock at me, I see. That is a counterattack. Double the reason to not attack willy-nilly. I like how cartoony his hand looked. His fingers were just very far apart and very distinct and curly and all that. Pretty fun enemies. And up here in another cell block. This door opens as it should, not rusty. I know it's not, but I really wish your official name was Life Sentence. This is a Lancer! They just use physical attacks. I don't think we've come into contact with an enemy other than Gowler that's been hard hard yet. This kind of furthers things being really easy. Um, I am being pretty optimal with my equipment, and I wouldn't really say that I'm avoiding too many battles, so that's probably why I'm having an easy time. He took two hits, though. This door... also doesn't want to open. I don't know what it is with doors on the left and being very stubborn, but it's a rule, apparently. It's directly above the other one that didn't want to open it on its own, so definitely something to remember. The layout of this place all fits together. It's not just disconnected cell blocks. Over this way, another bridge. There he is! I'd be so terrified fighting in this situation. I would hate it so much. Having just nothing to either side of me, having people swinging their swords, I can only dodge in certain directions or I fall to certain death. Uh, it would be so terrible. <laughs> now. We, oh, hello. So he sees us. Even though he is exactly the same as the other guards, we don't want to get caught. Uh, okay, I didn't get to demonstrate what it is we're supposed to do there. It's okay, though. He d goes down in one hit anyway, and I get experience and money for it. I don't see the problem here. What you're supposed to do is... Oh, I am not going to get a chance to do this. <laughs> uh, patient, stealthy behavior is not me. <laughs> if there's one thing I ain't, it's quiet and sneaky and subtle. That's three things, but you know what I mean. Uh, okay, so there's that guy up there. He's looking this way. Now he's looking away, and... Kabunk! So satisfying! You don't kill them, you just hit them over the head on their helmet, and they drop mid-potions this way, better than the regular potion you get if you beat them in combat. You do get experience and money for beating them in combat that you don't get this way, so it's a bit of a trade-off. It's not that big a deal if you don't do it, it's just a nice bonus. Hey, buddy, I'll be over there to save you in a moment. I just wanted to get a mid-potion real quick. I I'm sure you understand. Help me. Please. Eh, yeah, sure. You know, if you really want. Thank you. That was close. I'm Fritz. My father runs the t market in Truce. Stop by if you're ever in the area. I'm sure he'll get home safely with no opposition. Now... I want to tell you something about this area that is inexcusable. I'm sure you've heard about the PC version of Chrono Trigger being messed up, and believe me, I will tell you all about it, because I was there. <laughs> up until what they said was going to be the final patch, thankfully it wasn't and they fixed it. But for months, save points were solid objects because it was based on the mobile port and you move with the touchscreen. Fair enough. But, for some bonkers reason, you could only interact with them from the top. Meaning, that save point in the cell, you couldn't interact with it. You couldn't save. Oh, uh, anyway. Cyclone beats him in one hit, though, so maybe I'll just do it again for the extra little bit of damage because my regular attack wasn't cutting the mustard before. Apparently, these guys are made of mustard. Because they couldn't say they were dead in video games back then. They're not dead. They're mustard. Up the stairs in the guillotine room, past the guard we knocked out. Some prison architect had more of a bridge fetish than whoever designed Pokemon Black and White. But I'm not complaining, it's pretty. And yet another room like this... ...connected to yet another cell block in the lower left. I suppose you wouldn't really have a lot of creative freedom in the process of designing a prison, now would you? A shelter? Hey? I mean, a prison cell is technically a shelter. Well, that was a ripoff. And we got you guys to deal with. Attack!
Your beady eyes made a fine target for me to aim for. Chrono's level increased. Perfect. Should be able to deal with those Lancers on a regular attack now. I gotta be real with you. This is my first time seeing a lot of these enemy names. I know the enemies and what they're like and what they all do and what to watch out for, but I never know what they're called because their names are on the bottom screen and the only time that I've... like, I, never, I only look down there to say what they are out loud for your sake, though, so I guess talking with you kind of helps. Out this way is a different kind of area. We're able to climb down from these platforms. And when ending up on this ledge, here's one of those cells that we couldn't go into before. This contains a shelter. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 Chrono. <laughs> Chrono. There is a hole down here. That goes down into the other cell that was next to ours, giving us the silver sword. And 1,500 gold! Oh, that is so good! Got my plus three attack without having to spend all that money, and we can just climb back out. No way to climb up, just one secret room that leads to another secret room for those that were diligent in putting together a mental map of how this whole place fits together. Who doesn't love details that reward that sort of thing? There he is! Glad to know you were waiting for me. Didn't know I had quite that reputation yet. Cyclone! 89, 89, and you've been 86 A lot of money, actually. I didn't think that Sentry Guards would be paid very well, especially not by that Chancellor. Okay. Going on up. Somebody help! Chrono, I came to rescue you. I see you gave him the hammer to the noggin. <laughs> oh, looks like he didn't need my help after all. Oh, well. Well, we'd better not stick around too long. Let's go. Luca, I'm happy to see you, but remember what I said about that save point in the cell being blocked from the top and you can't interact with it in the original PC release? We're at two in a row now. One is inexcusable. Two is low playtesting. So... This is not the only outcome of the situation. What happens if we wait out the three days to execution? By just simply pressing nothing, you'll hear the coming of night by the owl, even though the sun didn't seem to get the memo about it becoming nighttime. And then a rooster will crow signaling the next day. Finally, the execution day has arrived. I've come to escort you to the executioner's block. Come along. Your sentence will be dispensed by guillotine. Do you have any last words? Chrono, I came to rescue you. What? Sorry, but you're sort of in the way. Lights out, boys. So, what do you think of my disposable Zonker 38? Pretty cool, huh? Well, we better not stick around for too long. Let's go. By doing this, Luke is in the party, but you skip a lot of the dungeon and essentially have to backtrack to see everything. Also, can we talk about how messed up it was that they were gonna just leave this guy in the guillotine like this for three days and not lower the blade already? <laughs> 
That is more messed up than the fact that he was being executed. That's horrible. The only other difference by doing it this way is that Luca will have already knocked out all the guards and they all have mid potions on them. You know, just in case, oh, I guess you didn't knock out this guy. But you know, just in case you suck and can't knock them all out yourself. This guy up here should be knocked out though, because she had to, yeah, this was on her way down here. Both ways are good, and some might argue that this way is better. I just personally like the other route because I like the idea of breaking out of prison yourself and then meeting up with Luca by the exit. I just like it better from a story perspective, and this way you don't have to hear the hurry up music the entire time. In case you're wondering what happens if you attack these guys from behind, Luca, if you would be so kind, you're at least smart enough to not walk around to the front. Yeah, they still take one damage, it doesn't make any difference. Back in the canon timeline, it's not exactly bad to miss out on Luca knocking out all the guards because if you just save and reload, you can get them again anyway. The mid potions are not lost forever, it was just a little bit more inconvenient the way that I did it. As you can see, I was able to get all three of them again even though I got one before, so they respawn just fine. Weren't we escaping from prison or something? Oh yeah. Gonna use a shelter, because we got all the time in the world and might as well heal up and save points tend to appear in dangerous places. As for the piece of paper, a classified document has been left lying on the floor. Read it. I'm a be a dirty boy. I'm already an ex-con. Dragon tank design specifications. Attention, warden of the Guardia Castle prisons. The head of the tank is equipped with the capacity to repair damage done to the body, an ingenious marvel of engineering. The head has also been enhanced with a shield to prevent damage by lightning and fire, leaving it vulnerable only to attacks with weapons such as swords or pistols. In short, your tank should effectively be effectively invincible, provided no crazed lunatic gets the predator to run up and try to hack away at its head with a sword. Guardia Royal Arms Commissions. <laughs> That's convenience. And buddy, I know you can't hear me. I know you tried to kill me. Just know that you have excellent taste in steel-toed boots. Oh my god, I wish I sounded that cool clomping around all over the place. Five mid potions, perfect. We'll try to make our escape. What was that? Keyword try. Forward dragon tank, crush those conspirators. We have heard so much about you. It is three enemies in one. Attacking any area that is not the head will cause the head to counter heal. The head is weak to physical attacks, but as we heard, is resistant to any kind of magic attack. Because Luca's normally great techs are now useless due to these elemental resistances, it's honestly best to have her be the one using the items, have Chrono be the attacker. 282, not bad. Whoa, we're doing well. Ooh. What? I cannot imagine a worse fate than a vehicle barreling towards you when there's cliff on either side of you that'll be a fall to your death, so you just have to take getting run over to see if you live. Uh, Luca, uh, use a potion on Chrono. I'm just gonna keep his health filled up as much as I can. Luca does not take that much damage from that fire attack. Uh, because Luca herself is fire elemented, she has a natural innate resistance to her own element. I should also mention that I'm not using Wind Slash as Chrono because, whoa, that went down faster than I thought. Wheels are storing energy, okay. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go over the fire world because only the head had the resistance, but um, crap, what was I saying? Uh, I was trying to divert into the fact that um, this is a good example of why you don't wanna just use dual techs all the time. Chrono's Cyclone normally has no element and hits harder than his normal attack. So he's actually better off not having that extra element added onto it. So dual techs are not always the way to go is what I'm trying to say. We're just gonna slice and dice through him. And, okay, I remember what I was trying to say. Chrono's Wind Slash. I'm not using that because um, Chrono himself is light elemented or lightning elemented, and we heard that the tank has a resistance to that. His, I guess, closest thing to a magic attack is very, is influenced by his element. Wow, that went down faster than I thought it would. Sheesh, that was a good fight. This is a very iconic fight. If you've never seen anything else from Chrono Trigger, you've probably at least seen this fight because it's just so iconic and the backdrop is so beautiful, but wow, that went down fast. M my dragon tank! Fix it, quickly! I know that if you guys let go, I die too, but it's so worth it. And he's just repeating himself ad nauseum. He's going insane like the old Chancellor did. 
Uh, you have no idea how much you are like your ancestor. Shelter! I'll take that. Make it up for the one that we just used, so perfect. They definitely intended for that. They thought of us when they were putting the treasuries in this castle. I guess they figured that if we came this far with escaping, we kind of deserve it. Uh, we've got no choice. We'll just have to plow through. Can I go down the stairs, maybe? Yes, I can. Uh, what is down here? Oh, this is just the quarters. They're escaping. They run after you, but they are less effective than butter. This guy is just walking into a chair. <laughs> this guy's like, hey, that looks like fun. Let me join you. <laughs> they take a little bit of force to shove out of the way. But they're largely unarmed, as soldiers tend to be, I suppose. Uh, if we go over this way, they're escaping. Stop that right now. Princess Nadia! That man is my friend, and you will treat him as such. But your highness! You refuse to obey my orders? No, I... Forgive me, my lady. Hold it right there! On your knees, His Grace King Guardia the 33rd comes before you. Father. Silence, Nadia. Your duties come before your whims. You are a princess before all else. No, I'm not. I'm a person first and a princess second. All of these little excursions of yours outside the castle seem to be having a bad influence on you. It's not influence, it's common sense. Nadia. I can't live in this stupid castle anymore. I'm leaving. Princess Nadia. Come on, Chrono. Don't just stand there after them. Oh, Nadia. There they are, don't lose them. There's nowhere left to run. Come along quietly. This time they will not let us through. Looks like a dead end. A gate! Come on! Come on! We have no idea where it'll take us! We might not even be able to get back! Who cares? Anywhere's better than here! Princess Nadia! This is totally irrational, you know. Hurry, Chrono! free to hurry and check the gate, but we're also free to not. Nowhere left to run. Come along quietly. Nowhere left to run. And my personal favorite. Every time you talk to him, he is shocked that you are staying here, not trying to get away, and are just walking into his arms. <laughs> good humor, good humor. Through the gates! Disappeared. Ow. There's no way the Chancellor can get us here. But where are we? Civilization here seems pretty advanced. It almost looks like we're in another world. <laughs>